So hello and welcome, my name is RuthMosuelofRankRival.com and in today's video we are going to review some of the new released features for Power BI service and we will look at the mobile too, okay? So I've been doing a series called Power Weeks where I actually go through the new Power BI desktop versions but I don't usually talk about Power BI service and Power BI service has really, really nice collaboration features that I think should deserve a little bit more attention. So every time the Power BI team publish like a major update or I can collect a few of the updates, I will do one of these review videos. Today's video, we're going to talk about mainly a new feature called comments. So the ability to comment in Power BI service. How that we could start it. I have a few more, but let's begin with that one. Okay, so here we are in <coughs> Power BI service, and one of the new features that they've released, uh, I think it was in September, August, September, um, it is comments, the ability to comment on the service. There are really good things, and there are a few buts. I'll, I'll tell you all about it. So here we are in Power BI service and I am on the workspace called social media. And here I have like data sets that I can share with everybody basically. And uh, I have uh, a report called Who Wants to Be a Billionaire? And this is a series of talks that I've been doing in different places. I will actually do a video about these so you can see how it was created. But that's another video for another day. Today we're going to focus on comments. So imagine this, you know, I have shared a report with you on Power BI service. And now you have some questions about the report. You want to ask the report creators or maybe some, some of the people on the team or your managers something about the data that you see. And what you can do now is actually comment. But, and this is the first but, you cannot comment on report. You have to create a dashboard to be able to comment. And I think that's a huge pity because, I mean, I guess that Microsoft has usage data of Power BI and probably people are using comments all over the place. I don't know. I would like to have it for reports too. So as you can see, there is no commenting thing anywhere. So you cannot comment on a report, you have to create a dashboard. I actually created a dashboard just to show you how comment works. And here you have the my dashboard. This is the uh, the number of billionaires, the percentage, and, and you, you know, you have, have some visuals in there. And now you can see that there is a button called comments. If you click on that, you have the possibility to comment on your data. So this data set is based on for best billionaires list. I think it would be great to have a comment where you actually give some feedback to your users of what, what the data come from and, you know, some basic background, something that they would be interested in knowing. And, you know, to know the source of your data is actually quite good. You know, these come from system A or system B. The, that would be quite useful. Post a comment. And what you can do, you can reply to a thread. This is a comment that is now. I can actually come here and say, okay. And you can mention somebody. You can say, hey, Ruth. I know I'm commenting myself, but just forget that. <laughs> So hey, which years, for example. And then you can start having a conversation about the dashboard without actually leaving Power BI, which is quite cool. When you do comments like that, you're commenting on the entire dashboard, okay? Or I don't know if you call it report, probably not on the dashboard because that's where you're doing the comments on. But you can actually comment also on a specific uh, visual. So you can see, go here, there's a percentage of billionaires, and then you can add a comment to a visual. And then you can see, oh lord, tough to become a billionaire. Okay. 
for example, for example. And then you can see here the um, a small icon. If you click on that, it will take you to it will you know do a spotlight on the visual where the comment was written on. You can see that everything is grayed out and it's only that comment. If you go back to comments up here, you will see that all the comments are um, here. And then you can again click on the little icon there and then you will see exactly to which visual that was done. So that is quite useful, right? Who can see mentions? Can you mention somebody that does not have access to the data? Yes, you can. Uh, you can mention anybody in your organization, it's no problem. They will receive a mail and then they will be asked to get access to the data. Because one thing this doesn't do, it doesn't give a snapshot. You know, if you would take a snapshot of the data and send it to the user, then they would need access. But unfortunately for this feature, they do. So I guess it will drive more usage to powerbi.com, if you know what I mean. Uh, free users, can they see that? Well, yes and no. Normal free users, no. Premium free users, yes. So if you are a free user and you don't have premium, premium subscription model, then you will have to convert to pro to be able to comment, which is a pity. Uh, so I guess, uh, you know, for smaller organizations, this is still copy and paste and send in an email until you have the possibility to pay for it. Um, more thing, the possibility to edit and delete comments, you can delete the comments one by one. You can see it here, but you cannot, there is not a feature like delete all or delete the last, you know, from the previous release, because you're going to, the data is going to change, right? <coughs> and comments that were good today, when the data is updated, it might not be good anymore. So some comments, it would be good to release. And I think a great feature would be once you update the source that the comments perhaps get archived or deleted, depending on what the admin wants to do. Something else, comments on dashboards are not copied to apps. So this gives, you know, business intelligence developers the possibility to talk in the team before actually releasing something. So you can publish something and then you can talk to your team and say, what do you think about that? Is that source okay? And when you publish it as an app, the app has absolutely no knowledge of the comments that you publish in there. It just, they're not visible basically. So th that is good and it depends on how you're using Power BI service, right? But it, I guess it's, it is actually good to be, give developers a possibility to collaborate because often they are not even sitting in the same country when they're doing this, so this is great. Um, so here, you know, this will be the place for business users to collaborate. And then you will go in here and say, hey, that's great. That's great report. Post comment. And then it will show. Good, right? Now, if you would see it in the mobile, if you open the mobile, so here we have the apps and here we have this called social media because that's the name of the workspace. I didn't change it, but if I go in there, we will see the app. And then here there is the bubble thing. And whatever I write on Power BI service, app, on the app, it gets, you can see it on the mobile too. So if I write here another comment, Check in mobile comments. And then I refresh on the app. It will show. And then you can see that it shows. 
And then I can actually comment from here. That is great feature. And I comment. And if I refresh on Power BI service, it will eventually show up. So that is where the collaboration is, my opinion, at its best, because you can actually collaborate with your team and actually see comments on mobiles and seeing comments on here it shows and seeing more comments on Power BI service too. So great job, great job. Thumbs up. Um, I think that's about it. That's the main features for the commenting. Uh, that's the main features for commenting, you know, reports and dashboards and Power BI service. There are other features that they have released. Let me show you. They have something called now Home. Good morning, Ruth. Welcome to your Power BI Home. And here you will actually see um, your favorite dashboard. I favored this dashboard like two seconds ago, and then it shows up there. It just shows me two tiles. <laughs> Don't know why. Favorites and frequents. Those are not my frequent dashboards. I don't know why they show up there, but they are there. I guess that I share picking until you're actually doing something more. Don't know. And then you have here some apps, some reports, and then some uh, learning resources for Power BI. I'm not sure about how great I think this is. I would love to hear your comments on the, you know, the comment box. What do you think about it? Do you use it? I, I find it a little bit messy. You know, when you have too many things to do on one place, you often do none. So I think dashboards and homes and that kind of stuff should be focused. You remember this Yahoo dashboard where you had everything, you have the weather and you have the stock market and you had, and you went there and you just panic and you just closed and did something else it just i hope it doesn't become like that i mean give free canvas to people to pin whatever they want on their home page would be better than just you know dumping stuff on a main page i hope i'm not being too rash and what i think is really good is actually the learning resources for power bi so you know people that are new and they're getting introduced into that they can actually jump into some learning courses right away. So that I like. The actual homepage? Not that much. But let me know what you think in the comment box, actually. I'm really, really curious to know. So what do you think about the idea of covering also Power BI uh, service and mobile features? Let me know in the comment box. I would really love to know what you think about the new homepage. Just let me know. Maybe I haven't discover the potential of it and I would love to know and uh, I'll see you again on Wednesday I'm working on the aggregated features from power week last week that I didn't have time to do because I didn't have a data set so I'll see you again on Wednesday until then take care bye